It's been a while since Pixel Plus UI version 4.8 started rolling out and I tried this custom for approximately 7 to 8 days. Yes, 7 to 8 days and was super, it was super good. And yes, I tried it on Redmi Note 10 Pro also. I tried it on Mi 11X and in Mi 11X, I used this room for 8 days. It was super good in the terms of performance, UI and a lot more things have been changed in this version. So let's just take a quick look at this new version which are the new things available here in this version there are new things added and these things are super good if you talk about the android version of course android 12 l it's not android 13 android 13 based updates will be rolled out very soon i think so first of all if you move on to the settings ui quickly if you're able to notice one major change here which we found here is if you're able to see this good evening hello can you can adjust this text according to your preference whatever you want to write you can write that as you can see hello tag this is what you can edit if you want to this is yes of course something looks good if you if you want to customize your device if you love to do some customizations settings UI looks quite good you can customize a lot of things like that for example welcome to pixelizer i'm going to talk about some few of the major changes which we found here as you can see welcome to pixelizer this is the major change in the previous updates this ui was not there i think so buttons gestures lock screen customizations are basically same but the ui is a bit changed and yes all these things supports monitor so whichever wallpaper you have applied the colors will be changed according to that so this is actually something good if you move on to this quick settings panel if you're able to notice one thing i really liked about pixel plus ui is this kind of quick settings panel is optional yes it is available in other customers also even in the fluid os it also has that kind of customization things but one thing which i liked is this option which is called switch to fluid ui quick setting style which means this is available as an option so if you want to use this thing you can if you don't want to you can revert back to the stock one which is something really good in my opinion i definitely love this thing other than else if you want to use the stock one you can use that if you want to data usage etc background transparency everything which was available in the previous update it's already there too it also has a fluid OS style power menu so yes fluid OS they're loving it for sure if you move on to this volume panel if you're able to notice the percentage is here this is this was not available in the previous update and this new update we found this option so this is also present you can edit this thing if you want to other than else yes almost same kind of things available here and there whenever i adjust this volume panel you can see i think so we have 25 volume steps available i think so because whenever i increase or decrease number four or maybe four percentages increase or decrease so it's maybe around 25 steps one more thing this is lock screen clock style which you can adjust which you can change if you want to move on to lock screen we have some other styles available you can use a spark style like this so whichever clock style you want in your lock screen you can adjust according to that spark circle is also looking quite good i sometimes use this thing and they've included the pixel plus ui kind of lock screen style you have this this is a pixel plus ui so their own clock style is available which only includes the date and something like that not a major difference for sure other than else these are some major changes which we found in this latest update but moving on to some customization section almost all the previous features which were present there are already there like buttons have some basic customizations like volume buttons where you can enable the control playback option system navigation has the option for pill length and etc but unfortunately you can't hide the pill and maybe you can hide the pill but the keyboard space will be there and it's like that you it, it does not give the ime button space option unfortunately swipe to screenshot as expectedly it's already there some lock screen basic customization some miscellaneous things which includes the window secure flag and application downgrade some notification customizations also has in call vibration theming options has the option to customize the fonts so few of the fonts customizations available whichever fonts you feel comfortable while using you can use that for example me sans if you use me 13 if you have used me 13 the fonts are super good so you can apply those things too if you want to other than else there are many fonts options available if you want to use any other things you can some quick settings customizations which i have already shown you you can use the data usage option also and some last but not the least some status bar customizations are available here and there too these were things i just want to let you know link is already available in the description this is all thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye